So I was 18 years old when I made my first million dollars. How did it feel? It felt pretty great. It felt great. Uh, you know, did uh, towards some Lamborghinis. There's a dealership in Newport Beach that takes Bitcoin for Lamborghinis. I'm Eric Finman, and I am one of the youngest Bitcoin millionaires in the world. So this is the place. We got some, a lot of beds here. I like to have a lot of friends over. I don't really like cuddling, so that's why I have a lot of beds. Pretty, pretty minimalistic, so I don't like to have too many clothes. That's pretty much it. I like to just live a life of gym t-shirt and gym shorts perpetually. Hey, you know, if you got money, why do you have to dress nice? I check my Bitcoin every 30 minutes, so I get a notification like of the price. So I originally got into Bitcoin when I was uh, just 12 years old, when it was about $10, $12 a coin. And uh, I had one of my brothers, we really, he, he really got into it and we were very close. And then we really got into all this Bitcoin stuff. I was very fortunate enough to have kind of a, a grandmother. She, uh, uh, she had an extra thousand dollars to give her kids for a scholarship fund. So I put that $1,000 into Bitcoin. So I was able to amass uh, about 400 plus Bitcoins. So there you go. So this is Perf. So this is a website that allows you to like buy things off of Amazon. And then it also like gives you a discount because you're using Bitcoin rather than all the fees of you know credit cards and, and all that stuff. What do you use to check your Bitcoin? So, that's where I have like a, I have like a hardware key <laughs> to like check. I have like a hard drive that I like keep in secure locations. Stay away from it. <laughs> Stay away from Bitcoin. Well, it's a mirage, basically. It is a disruptive technology. It's not regulated. It's, yeah. It can't be tracked, and it tends to uh, it tends to attract people who are doing illegal things. There are a couple people, kind of top politicians, some Wall Street people. They're saying that Bitcoin is not going to work out, and and Bitcoin is 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 uh, kind of used for for bad things. And that recently has affected the price because politicians and Wall Street people are very afraid of what Bitcoin will do to them and their industry. So school was maybe uh, not the best thing for me, to say the least. I, I didn't really particularly enjoy it. I had a lot of uh, teachers that were maybe not the most positive. One teacher told me to drop out and work at McDonald's because that's all ever, I'll ever amount to in life. So I left, I dropped out when I was 15, and I went to start an education company that, uh, that would help people learn better. It was to give people access to good teachers if you didn't have any locally. I, I wonder how I came up with that idea. People ever call you smarty pants? No. No. Maybe they should. Eric Finman is the founder of Bowtangle. I think you can learn a thousand million times more on the internet than in the classroom. Everything is there for you. You just need to have the motivation. Because most people think that they have to go through this traditional path and they have to do this. And I kind of, I'm kind of more aware that that's maybe not so much the case. So I think about how can I completely do something my way. So if this is the traditional way of doing it, if I thought about how to redo this from scratch, how could I do that? And I think uh, career, that was one. You know, school, that was two. You know, three, you know, kind of currency, Bitcoin and all that stuff. That's what I think is that in the sense that society and the world and the world's rules limit you in so many ways. If you completely rethought about how you could do something your way, completely from scratch, what would that look like?